Uzi, you ain't Cardi, show not me. Never on the scene, what you mean? Y'all I mean. What's good, y'all? It's Trills here, coming back with another video. Today I'm gonna be reacting to I Have an Unforgettable Memory of the Snowfield Where I Almost Died. Uh, reacting to Wants Entertainment. If y'all are new, subscribe to my channel right now. We're at 489 subscribers, we're up to 500 subscribers. Turn on post notifications. And back slap the like button. I'm about to start this reaction in three, two, one. There we go. It was a normal, boring day in winter 2015. I was at home and had nothing else to do that day since the snow was so heavy. So I told my mom that I was going for a walk with my dog. I decided to take him for a five minute walk to the field near our house. And when we all got right, there, all right. the place so was totally so empty. I couldn't see anyone walking around, but I didn't hmm. mind them. So we started oh, walking no. again for more than five minutes. Then all of a sudden, I heard something. It was kind of like someone was moaning. Something. I looked around wait, to see wait, where the sound was coming from. No, bro, that's a little sus. Was it something or someone? That, that's a little weird. I ain't gonna lie. And at that moment, I saw it. There was a man wearing a dark black trench coat with his hood up and winter boots. Being frightened, I quickly ducked behind a tree, hoping that he didn't he see me. He probably already saw you. It's too late. I laid down flat and ordered my dog to hide. He lay in the snow, digging his mouth into it. The man stood there That's for a while, enough. and then he slowly no, walked off. A few minutes oh, no, later, when I couldn't hear his sure. feet anymore, back. I quietly got up and said to my dog, Come. He followed me, and by this time, oh, I, thought the I heard the creepy gone. moan again behind me. I was terrified. I told you he found you. He I hesitated you. at first, he but slowly turned around to see what was going on. Why do they always slowly turn around? Can't you just go like that? Don't snap your neck while you turn like that, but, you know, like, don't slowly turn around and wait for him to do something to you. Well, I hope no one ever has to go through something like this. Because what I saw at that moment became the worst nightmare I've ever had in my whole life. What was it? He was man? there. He stood Ugh. there. I did not know he looked like that. What the Staring heck? at me. But this time, he wasn't alone. There was also oh a woman gosh. next to him. And now they both had large knives in their hands. Oh my Especially gosh, and it's I bloody. Could see that the woman was covered in blood. And her bright smile oh was spreading my. across her face like she was stop, insane. Stop, 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 stop. I started it, running stop. away, calling my dog to follow me. I was almost halfway to the field, but then I accidentally then fell to the ground and landed on a broken. Why did they always trip, bro? beer bottle, which penetrated the side of my leg. It was ah. painful, but there was no time. So I used all my strength to pull out the broken piece. Ouch. I managed to pull it out, but after that, it was hard to get up and run. I struggled to crawl on the field, spreading blood in the snow. I knew that it was definitely visible to them and they soon found me. The woman got close to me. Leave don't, me alone, do it. I shouted to them, hoping that someone would hear my voice for help. But no one was around. All of a sudden, so my empty. dog got in front of me and started growling at the woman. And when she kneeled down to stab me, he instantly jumped up and bit her neck. She yelled and swung around the knife on him. When my dog collapsed, oh. injured on the ground, they stabbed the dog. They stabbed the dog, bro. If you stab, if I had a dog and you stabbed my dog, my dog sacrificed himself for me, bro. It's over, bro. I'm going Super Saiyan, bro. I'm going go, bro. Super Saiyan Goku, bro. I'm being uncontrollable okay, anger surged up within me. I got up, I grabbed her knife, and sure. stabbed her side. Yes! I started to choke her. But then, mm -hmm. the sharp pain penetrated on my back, and when I fell to the no. ground, I could see the man was standing behind me. Oh my gosh, he stabbed you, you're dying. I thought I was going to die. And in those few For seconds, real. when I was about to close my eyes, <laughs> bang! His arm was blown off. It was oh my, my neighbor God. living next to our house. He was holding a shotgun in his Hey, shotgun! 
told me later that he'd went hunting and when he visited the field he heard my voice. His hunting dogs rushed up to the man and bit into his shoulder. After that, Ouch. my neighbor got to me and tried to help me to stand up, but I told him to help my dog first instead of me. Then I, think I finally dead. blacked out. When I woke up again, I was in the hospital. My family was standing next to me with my neighbor. He told me that after I blacked out, the police arrived with an ambulance and that my dog was taken to the veterinary clinic and survived by a miracle. I thought the dog was dead. That's a few tough. minutes later, a policeman came to report the information that the man who attacked me had been arrested. But the woman had died from shock. Yes, and it sir. turned out that they were serious criminals. And when they were sent to the mental institution... Huh, they look like serious criminals. I mean, look at them, bro. They're looking like this. He had escaped oh, with the criminals. woman. After that, my neighbor lost Wait, the right to own a weapon because he shot at a person. But he didn't care, though. He just told me I that he did the either. right thing to save someone's life. And he also For said real? that he's just glad I'm alive. Well, I'll That's never forget neighbor. about this incident, ever. And I will always thank my neighbor and my dog for saving my life. Mm-hmm. That's pretty, that's pretty nice, bro, but it's the end of the video. If y'all enjoyed this reaction, subscribe to my channel right now. We're at 489 subscribers. Road to 500 subscribers, bro. So I'm post notifications. Back slap the like button. I'm out. Peace. Can I bother? Can? Can we tell Mr. Trainer? I think I can. Pull up and water me like I'm dead in a revenge. My the big on Facebook, you can't say him.